passionate about food because I'm born like that, I think. I just love to eat. <laughs> I was in St Andrews School for all of my uh, primary and secondary school education. I grew up eating the food in the tuck shop. There was this Indian man selling mee siam. It was sweet, a little bit creamy. Today, we are spoiled for choice. Our kids are exposed to everything from Japan to Europe. It would be a shame if they don't appreciate what is really our own heritage food. So when FairPrice approached me to do this, I thought, this is a great opportunity to showcase some of the things that's not so readily found nowadays. I'm very excited to see who I'll be cooking for. Oh, hello. I'm uh, Dr. Leslie Tay. What's your name? Hello, my name is Zachary and this is my mom, Pamela. Nice to meet you. My task today is to uh, make you a dish that will win your heart. So I need to know a little bit about you and what you like to eat. I like to eat pizza, sushi, jelly beans, hofan, Skittles. So if I were to ask you to choose noodle or rice, which one will you choose? I'll choose noodle. How about seafood? Do you eat seafood? Yes, I like prawns. I'm gonna go and buy some ingredients and the next time we meet, we're gonna be at the kitchen and I'm gonna cook up something that I hope you will enjoy. Okay? Okay. Bye. Right. We'll see you. Bye-bye. After talking to Zachary, I've decided I'm gonna make him an Indian-style misiam. I'm here at Fair Price to pick up the ingredients for the misiam I'm gonna make for Zachary. One of the key ingredients are the prawns. I heard the prawns here are really fresh because they have a team at Jurong Fishery Port that picks them up every morning. So the key to buying prawns is to make sure they're super fresh. And the way to tell is when the head is still firmly attached to the body like this. I'll be using this uh, Fair Price house brand Red Cargo Rice Vermicelli. Not only is it a healthier option, it's got a lovely red colour which is perfect for my mee siam. I've got everything now. Let's head back to the kitchen and start cooking. Alright, I've got all the ingredients I need to make my Indian style mee siam and then we've got some of these prawns. Now, prawns are not found in traditional Indian style mee siam but since Zachary likes seafood, I'm going to add this in. So the first thing to do is to grind up our ingredients. So we're going to heat up our pot then we'll add in our ground ingredients. So you can smell the fragrance of the onion. This is the time that you add in your salted bean paste. Ground peanuts, one and a half litres of water. Add in the asam as well. The tamarind gives the dish a nice tang that makes it extra appetising. So while that's cooking, we're going to cook up the uh, bihun. We're just going to add some chilli paste and fry the vermicelli. You might need to add a little bit of water. And then basically, you just want to mix the chilli paste and uh, give the vermicelli just a thin coating of chilli paste. You don't want it too soft. You want the bihun to have a bit of texture. So this has been cooking for 20 minutes. Wow. <sighs> you can smell that peanut aroma coming out. But it's not ready yet. There's still a few more ingredients to add. The sugar, coconut milk. And finally, we're going to add in some sambal tumis. This is basically a nasi lemak chilli. At this stage, all you need to do is to bring it to a boil and then your gravy is ready. Let's give it a try. That's it. That's the flavour I'm looking for. Ah, really brings me back to the old school days. We are ready to assemble the misiam. This is how we used to have it in school, in this kind of old school plate. The best way to cut an egg is by using a line like this. It cuts through cleanly and you got lovely cut eggs like that. So the dish is ready and I can't wait to serve it to Zachary. It's got all the elements, the noodles, the soup, it's sweet, it's got seafood and I can't wait to see his reaction. So Zachary, this is the special dish that I've just prepared for you. Do you know what it is? Misiam. Ah, oh, you know misiam? But have you tried Indian style misiam? Mm, no. Okay, because I heard what you say, you like noodles, you like something sweet, you like seafood. So I cooked this dish just for you. So are you ready to try it? Yes! I'm so excited because I never tried this dish before and you specially made it. And this is free. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think. Hmm. Is it good? Mmm, super good. So what do you like most about the dish, Zachary? The prawn. I think I should be able to cook this at home. Very good, very good. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Leslie, for cooking this for us. Yes, thank you. This is a wonderful dish. I'm so glad you like this dish. That gives me the confidence that this dish is going to survive another generation of Singaporeans. And if you want to cook it, you can get all the ingredients and all the information you need at the link to the recipe page. So until next time, happy cooking. Bellissimo! I'm going to be a chef, I'm going to quit my day job and I'm going to be a chef.